one. Tao is not a way that can be pointed out, nor an idea that can be defined. Tao is indefinable original totality. Ideas create the appearance of separate things. Always hidden, it is the mysterious essence. Always manifest, it is the outer appearances. Essence and appearance are the same. Only ideas make them seem separate. Mystified? Tao is mystery. This is the gateway to understanding. 2. Something can be beautiful if something else is ugly. Someone can be good if someone else is bad. Presence and absence, short and long, high and low, before and after, gibberish and meaning. They can only exist together. So, the wise can act by just being and teach without speaking. Things come to them because they let them go. They create by not trying to possess. They succeed by not seeking reward. What needs to be done is done and then forgotten. They are always moving on. 3. The wise don't make themselves out to be special, so no one competes with them. They don't accumulate riches, so no one steals from them. They govern by example, so no one is misled. They aren't controlled by desire, so they don't cause confusion. They are not greedy for food or power, and so they are full of well-being. People don't understand what they do, but no one wants to take over. Four. Tao is like an empty space that can never be filled up, yet it contains everything blunt and sharp, resolved and confused, bright and dull, the whole of creation. Hidden, but always present. Who created it? It existed before the Creator. 5. Heaven and earth don't have human feelings. To them, all things are like idols, sacred, but also just empty forms. In the same way, the wise honour everyone, knowing they are nothing. Heaven and earth are like two handles of a bellows that push together and pull apart, forever creating life. Why waste breath trying to comprehend this? Better to know the source where they meet. 6. Emptiness is eternal, the mother of all life, the primal source. She is dimly visible as if behind a veil. Be empty and you will never be drained. 7. Heaven and earth go on forever. Why? Because they have no sense of self. The wise advance by holding back. They lose themselves and find the whole. Fulfillment comes from selflessness. 8. Great goodness is like water. It flows everywhere, filling 
everything. It is life-giving by its very nature. It humbly settles in the lowest places, like someone who follows Tao. Make your heart like a lake, with a calm, still surface, and great depths of kindness. Nurture your true nature. Make love your gift to others. Only talk the truth. Flow around obstacles. Don't confront them. Don't struggle to succeed. Wait for the right moment. No need for strife. No need for blame. Nine. Fill a bowl to the brim and it will spill. Make a blade too sharp and it will soon blunt. Amass too much wealth and you will never protect it. Too much success breeds arrogance and arrogance brings downfall. When enough has been done, time to stop. This is heaven's way. 10. Can you value your uniqueness as part of the whole? Be subtle as breath and supple as a baby. Be a polished mirror reflecting truth perfectly. Can you love and lead people without recourse to dogma? Temper the masculine and enhance the feminine. Can you be open and receiving in every way, birthing and nourishing, but not possessing, helping, but not seeking gratitude, guiding, but not controlling? This is natural goodness. 11. A wheel is useful because of the hole at the center of the hub. A clay pot is useful because it contains empty space. Doors and windows are useful because they are gaps in the walls. The value of what is there lies in what is not there. 12. Colour may blind the eyes, sound may deafen the ears. Taste may dull the palate. Desire may trouble the heart. Excitement may confuse the mind. The wise don't put their trust in how things seem. They follow gut feelings. This is their choice. 13. Success causes fear as much as failure does. Believing you are your personality is the source of all your troubles. What does it mean, success causes fear as much as failure does? Well, when you achieve success, you become frightened of losing it. That's what it means. What does it mean? Believing you are your personality is the source of all your troubles. The reason you experience troubles is because you think you are just a persona. If you saw through this, you'd have no problems. Stop clinging to your personality and see all beings as yourself. Such a person could be trusted with the whole world. 14. You can't see it because it has no form. You can't hear it because it makes no noise. You can't touch it because it has no substance. It cannot be known in these ways. 
because it is the all-embracing whole. It is not high and light, or low and dark. Indefinable, yet continually present. It is nothing at all. It is the formless form, the imageless image. It can't be grasped by the imagination. It has no beginning and no end. This is the essence of Tao. Stay in harmony with this ancient presence and you will know the fullness of each present moment. 15. The ancient masters understood mystery. The depths of their wisdom was unfathomable, so all we have are descriptions of how they looked. Careful, as if crossing a frozen river. Alert, as if aware of danger. Respectful, like a guest. Yielding, like melting ice. Simple, like uncarved wood. Empty, like a valley. Trying to understand is like straining to see through muddy water. Be still and allow the mud to settle. Remain still until it is time to act. Those who follow Tao don't seek to arrive anywhere, so their journey is never over. 16. Be empty, be still. Watch everything just come and go, emerging from the source, returning to the source. This is the way of nature. Be at peace. Be aware of the source. This is the fulfillment of your destiny. Know that which never changes. This is enlightenment. Without this awareness, you are stumbling blindly. With this awareness, you can embrace everything. Embrace everything and you will be equanimous. Be equanimous and you can truly serve. Truly serve and you will be filled with spirit. Filled with spirit, you will be one with Tao. One with Tao you will know the eternal. And need never fear, you will cease to exist. Even when your body has turned to dust. 17. Great leaders are hardly noticed. The wise are loved and praised. Dictators are feared. Hypocrites are despised. The wise promise nothing, and so they are trusted. When success is achieved without too much direction, everyone says, it just happened. 18. When people lose touch with Tao, questions of moral duty arise. When intelligence and cleverness are overvalued, people start the great pretense. When natural affection does not flow, questions of family loyalty arise. When a nation is confused, it is prey to patriotic leaders. 19. Give up trying to seem holy. Forget trying to appear wise, and it will be a lot better for everyone. Abandon trying to seem good. Throw out self-righteousness and rediscover natural compassion. 
Stop trying to be so smart. Quit being calculating and you won't become a rogue. These three sayings are important, but I want to add this. Be simple and true to your own nature. Be selfless and at peace with the way things are. 20. You'll find your life easier if you stop trying to seem so clever. Yes or no? Who cares? Bad or good? Who knows? I feel fear, just like everybody else. But while other people are only happy, walking in the spring sunshine, on the lookout for fame and gain, I am content to be alone and drifting, with no interest in my fortunes. Like a baby, too young to smile. Everyone else has more than enough. What do I care? I'm a fool, confused and muddled. Others are bright and sharp as a knife. What do I know? I am blunt and weak. I am surrounded by a great sea of people, always on the move, while I am like a restless wind, drifting without direction. Everyone else is busy. I am aimless, like a passing beggar. Sometimes I feel so different to other people, but I always know I am a child, nourished by the mother. 21. Natural goodness only flows from following Tao. Tao. Elusive and mysterious, yet expressed in form. Elusive and mysterious, the seed of creation. It is real, see for yourself. From the beginning of time until this present moment, Tao is eternally creating creation. How do I know the nature of things? Because I know Tao. 22. Give up and you will succeed. Bow and you will stand tall. Be empty and you will be filled. Let go of the old and let in the new. Have little, and there is room to receive more. The wise stand out, because they see themselves as part of the whole. They shine, because they don't want to impress. They achieve great things, because they don't look for recognition. Their wisdom is contained in what they are, not their opinions. They refuse to argue, so no one argues with them. The ancients said, give up and you will succeed. Is this empty nonsense? Try it. If you are sincere, you will find fulfillment. 23. It is natural, when you have something to say, to be direct and use few words, like a whirlwind which passes quickly, or a rainstorm which is soon spent. Heaven and earth create whirlwinds and rainstorms, and they don't last for long. Likewise, a person should be brief and to the point. Follow Tao and become Tao. Follow natural goodness and become naturally good. Abandon either of these and you will feel abandoned. Seek Tao and it finds you. Hold to natural goodness and it will never desert you. Lose either of these 
and you will be lost. If you do not trust, you will not find what is trustworthy. 24. Those who stand on tiptoe are unsteady. Those who take large strides tire quickly. Those who think they know never learn. Those who want to stand out don't value others. Those who are self-important are never respected. These ways are like unnecessary baggage or food left over after a feast. To the followers of Tao, they have no use. 25. Mysteriously existing before heaven and earth, silent and empty, an unchanging oneness, an ever-changing presence, the mother of all life. It is impossible to really give it a name, but I call it Tao. Without wishing to define it, it could be called the whole. The whole moves as if in a circle, turning away and returning to itself. Tao is the whole. The whole contains the universe. The universe contains the earth. The earth contains humankind. These are the four great elements of creation. Humankind follows the ways of the earth. The earth follows the ways of the universe. The universe follows the ways of Tao. Tao follows its own nature. Twenty six. Light things need heavy roots. Moving things need still centers. The wise go through each day without losing sight of what is important to them. Although they may see many desirable things, they don't get distracted. Why are our leaders so often political lightweights? Because they are distracted and have lost their roots. They are restless and have lost their still centre. 27. The wise don't leave tracks for others to follow or speak to convince their listener. They don't calculate their own profit. They can close their door securely without locks. They can bind things tightly without knots. They care for everyone and reject no one. Care for everything and reject nothing. This is what it means to be enlightened. A good person is a role model for a bad person because everyone has the potential for goodness. If this example is not followed or this potential not nurtured, confusion follows, however clever people think they are. This is the heart of the matter. 28. To be filled with the masculine power of yang, follow the feminine nature of yin. Be empty like a valley where water gathers to form a stream. Gather natural goodness until you are like a little child again. To be filled with light, acknowledge what is dark. Be an example to the world. 
allow the stream of natural goodness to carry you back to the infinite. To be filled with honour, be humble about your shortcomings. Be empty as a valley. Follow the flow of natural goodness to the sea of primal simplicity. The wise are aware of the whole while interacting with the parts. This is how they can help without harming. 29. If you try to rule the world, you'll ruin it. The world is sacred. It's not private property in need of refurbishment. If you try to shape it to fit your ideas, you will destroy it. If you try to understand it once and for all, it will seem incomprehensible. 30. If you ever advise a leader about Tao, tell them not to use force, because what you do comes back to you. Weeds grow where armies have camped. Wars lead to famine. Do what has to be done, but don't abuse power. Get things done, but don't make a show. Get things done, but don't boast. Get things done, but don't be smug. Get things done, because it has to be that way. Get things done, but not by force. To use force is to be weak. This is not Tao. This is not the way to have a lasting effect. 31. An advisor who follows Tao never counsels force. The wise go the way of peace. The warmongers go the way of conflict. Weapons are embodiments of fear. The wise use them only when they have no choice. To them, peace is the greatest good, and victory in war, no cause for celebration. If you can rejoice about slaughter, then celebrate victory. But if you can rejoice about slaughter, you have lost the way. In happy times, the peacemakers are honoured. In sad times, people are distinguished in battle. The commanders of an army should conduct war as if it were a funeral. Many people are being killed, so grief and mourning are appropriate. Let a victory celebration be like a memorial service. 32. Tao can never be conceptualised. It is so simple, it seems irrelevant. But if leaders could live by it, everything would unfold as they wished. Gentle rain would unite heaven and earth. People would find their place without being ordered about. Ideas divide up the whole. Enough ideas... Time to stop and avoid yet more problems. Following Tao in the world is like being a mountain stream that becomes part of a valley brook, that becomes part of a great river that flows to the sea. 33. Wisdom is seeing the true nature of others. Enlightenment is seeing the true nature of Tao. Mastering others 
requires force. Mastering yourself requires strength. Being self-sufficient is being truly rich. Have the will to do what has to be done. Have the endurance to stay where you need to be. To die while living is to be in the eternal present. 34. The great Tao is everywhere, to the right and to the left. Everything depends on it, but it requires nothing back. It does its work without seeking reward. It feeds and clothes everyone, but doesn't want to be their master. It has no aims. It is very small. It nurtures all things without them knowing. It is very great. It is the same with the wise. They don't try to appear great, and so are truly great. 35. Everyone is attracted to a person who knows Tao because they are peaceful and happy. A traveller may stop for nice food and good music, but a description of Tao seems bland and tasteless. It looks like nothing special. It sounds like nothing special. But live by it, and you will never tire of it. 36. The expanded will eventually shrink. The strong will eventually weaken. The high and mighty will eventually fall. The rich will eventually be ruined. Because this is the way things work. Softness and weakness can overcome hardness and strength. A fish is safe just by staying in deep waters. So a country can be safe without displaying weapons. 37. Tao just is, and everything gets done. If leaders could be this way, people would change by themselves. If people were compelled by desire, their leaders would lead them back to their original simplicity. Eventually, there would be no desire, and without desire, there is peace. In this way, the world writes itself. 38. A do-gooder wants to be seen to be good. Natural goodness is unconcerned with appearances. A do-gooder may be endlessly busy, but there always seems more to be done. Natural goodness seems to do nothing, and good things just happen. Kind people act without thought of themselves. Just people act according to a set of ideas. Moralizers act, and if people don't go along with them, they raise their fists, ready to enforce their point of view. When Tao is lost, there is still natural goodness. When natural goodness is lost, there is still kindness. When kindness is lost, there is still justice. When justice is lost, there are only social niceties, and these are not genuine or honest. Then, all is lost. 
thinking you know what should happen, can seem like the flowering of Tao, but it will make a fool of you. The wise stay with what is. This is the fruit of Tao. They choose the fruit, not the flower. Thirty nine. From ancient times, the nature of the whole has been observable in its parts. The clear heavens and the firm earth, potent spirits and fertile valleys. All living beings and all great leaders, they are as they are because they are part of the whole. If this were not so, the heavens would fall and the earth would split. The spirits would be impotent and the valleys would dry up. Everything would die and leaders would certainly fall. Honour is rooted in humility. The high has its foundations in the low. Most people hate to be lonely, orphaned or unimportant, but great leaders see themselves as unimportant and embrace the unfortunate as part of themselves. This is to be rooted in humility, don't you think? They know success is not an advantage. They don't desire to glitter like jewellery. They are as ordinary as stone. Gain by losing or lose by gaining. I'm just saying what others have said before me. Live a violent life and you will die a violent death. This is the heart of my teachings. Forty. Tao moves in circles, always flowing back to Tao. Tao is ever yielding, constantly creating everything from no thing. Forty one. On hearing about Tao, wise students consistently practice what they learn. Average students give it a thought now and then. Foolish students think it's all ridiculous. But Tao would not be Tao if no one poked fun. So there are these sayings. Tao is clear but seems dark. Tao goes forward but seems to retreat. Tao is easy, but seems to be hard. Natural goodness seems empty. Great purity seems imperfect. Goodness is abundant, but seems insufficient. Goodness is strong, but seems frail. Goodness is evident but seems hidden. A perfect square actually has no corners. A great work is never completed. The highest notes cannot be heard. The realist form has no shape. Tao is not revealed by ideas. Tao exists beyond concepts, yet it is true to say that everything is nourished and fulfilled only by Tao. 42. Tao is the mother of the whole. The whole splits into yin and yang. From these two comes three. 
from three comes all life. Yin is form, the container. Yang is essence, the contained. Like the in-breath and the out-breath of life, these two are one. 43. Strength is tamed by gentleness, like a rider controlling a galloping horse. Water seeps through, even though there are no cracks. This is how I know the value of just being. Very few in this world can learn from silence or act by just being. 44. Which matters more, what you are or how you seem? Which is worth more, what you are or what you have? Which causes most suffering, loss or gain? If you don't work too hard, you won't wear yourself out. If you don't hoard too much, you won't suffer great losses. If you don't want too much, you won't be discontent. Knowing when to stop avoids unnecessary problems and helps you keep going. 45. The greatest achievement seems like falling short, but its effects are beyond measure. Being filled up feels like being emptied out, but never like running dry. Straightforwardness seems obscure. Great skill seems clumsy. Great intelligence looks foolish. Great eloquence sounds like blathering. Be calm, not cold. Be calm, not hot. Tranquil and equanimous. See order within chaos. 46. In a country where Tao is understood, there are cart horses. In a country where Tao is ignored, there are war horses. The greatest mistake is to be ruled by desire. The greatest curse is to be discontent. Getting what you want may be the greatest misfortune. Appreciate what you have and you will always have enough. 47. You can know everything without going anywhere. You don't see the way of heaven by staring out the window. The more you go looking, the less you will find. The wise know. There is nowhere to go. They see by not looking. They act by just being. 48. Someone seeking learning knows more and more. Someone seeking Tao knows less and less. Less and less until things just are what they are. By simply being, everything gets done. Get things done by letting them happen. Struggling all the time gets you nowhere. 49. A wise heart is big enough to embrace everyone. 
I am good to the good, and I am good to the bad, because it is good to be good. I trust the trustworthy, and I trust the untrustworthy, because I trust in trust. The wise are not full of themselves. They are careful not to push others away. They teach how to live well by their example. They treat everyone as family. 50. At a crossroads where one way leads to life and one way leads to death, three out of ten choose the way to life. Three out of ten choose the way to death. Three out of ten want to go the way to life but drift off down the road to death. Why? Because they are wrapped up in superficialities. I have heard it said, those who know how to live well travel without danger. Living a good life is like being protected, and living a bad life is as if under attack. The enlightened are invulnerable. No horn can gore them, no claw can tear them, no weapon can pierce them. Death cannot touch those who truly know how to live. 51. Tao gives life to all living things, and its natural goodness nurtures them. It forms them according to their unique nature in relationship with their environment. This is why it is natural for everything to spontaneously honour Tao and its natural goodness. Tao gives life to all living things and its natural goodness nourishes, tends, comforts, feeds, shelters, and protects them. Tao works mysteriously, giving life but then letting go, accomplishing its purpose without controlling, guiding, not forcing. 52. In the beginning, the mother gave birth to everything. If you know the mother, you know you are her child. Remember your mother, and you will lose your fear of death. Shut your mouth, close your door on the world, and you will always know the fullness of life. Open your mouth, get wrapped up in busyness, and you'll never get the help you need. Pay attention to the little things. Make yielding your strength. Don't go looking for trouble. Follow your light and refind your original clarity. Always do this. 53. If I've got any sense, I'll just follow the road of Tao and my only fear will be of getting sidetracked. The road is easy enough to follow, but people wander off everywhere. Leaders live in big houses, while the fields are full of weeds. The granaries are empty, while the rich wear the latest fashion. People carry weapons and eat and drink to excess. Their riches are stolen from the poor, they are arrogant thieves. This is certainly not Tao. 54. What is well planted cannot be uprooted. What is firmly grasped doesn't slip away. Nurture natural goodness within yourself and you will feel its benefits. Make it part of the family, 
and it will grow from generation to generation. Make it the centre of your community and it will flourish. Make it the leader of your nation and it will be abundant. Make it the whole of your world and whichever way you turn, you will meet natural goodness. Embrace others as part of yourself. Treat every family as your family. See all communities as your community. Think of nations everywhere as your nation. Know that your world is everyone's world. Why do I see things this way? Because this is the way things are. Fifty-five. If you want to know about natural goodness, take a look at little babies. They are so innocent, it seems impossible to think of them coming to harm. Their bones are soft and their muscles weak, but their grip is firm. They are whole in themselves, without union with their opposite sex. They can cry all day, and still not get hoarse. They are completely in harmony. To be in harmony is to know that which never changes. To know the changeless is enlightenment. Struggling to achieve enlightenment is crazy. Trying to control the life energy will exhaust you. Why do I see things this way? because this is the way things are. Forcing growth hastens death. This is not Tao. 56. Those who know don't push it on others. Those who claim to know probably don't. Shut up. Go inside. Soften your sharp edges. Simplify your thoughts. Follow your own light. Be ordinary. Then you will see for yourself that you are part of the whole. Whether faced with friend or enemy, loss or gain, fame or shame, the wise remain equanimous. This is what makes them so extraordinary. 57. Holding to the letter of the law may be appropriate to keep a country in order. Using surprise tactics may be appropriate to win a war. But only acting from your true being is always appropriate. What makes me say this? I'll tell you. The more shoulds and shouldn'ts there are, the poorer the quality of life. The more powerful weapons become, the more destruction there will be. The more ingenious people get, the more dangerous what they create. The more laws there are, the more people break them. The wise say, if I practice just being, then others may change themselves. If I am at peace, then others may become peaceful. If I don't get in the way, everyone will be richer. If I am empty of desires, others may return to being simple and simply being. 58. If a country is ruled in an unobtrusive way, its people will be honest and live simply. But if government is invasive, people become devious or apathetic. Bad things lead to good things. Good things lead to bad things. 
who knows how the future will turn out? Is there a right way? What now is normal will soon seem strange. Those trying to do good end up doing harm, and so it goes on. Everyone is caught up in it. That is why the wise set an example without criticizing. They are honest, but not hurtful. Straightforward, but not intolerant. They shine their light, but not so brightly that it blinds. Fifty-nine. When being of service or caring for others, don't overdo it. Meaning, let go of your ideas about how it should be. Natural goodness is like a deep well inside of you. If you have been drawing from this well, then nothing is impossible. There are no limits to what you can achieve, and you are able to truly help. Be like a mother, and the effects of what you do will last. Have deep roots in Tao. See the eternal beyond the impermanent. 60. Cooking a small fish and ruling a big country need equal care. When the world is ruled by Tao, Evil is powerless. Not that it doesn't exist. It just has no power to harm a people. The wise don't want anyone to come to harm. When people don't hurt each other, natural goodness spreads throughout the land. 61. Rivers naturally flow to lowlands and unite. A great country, like lowland, draws everything to it in the way that a woman can attract a man without needing to do anything. This is the power of passivity. So, if a big country respects a small country, it will win the trust of the small country. If a small country respects a big country, it will win the trust of the big country. A country which is small is already humble, but a country which is big has to make itself humble. A big country wants to expand, and a small country wants protection. They both get what they want when the big country humbles itself. 62. Tao is a home for all creation, a treasure to the good, a refuge for the bad. It makes true words priceless, good deeds the perfect gift. It doesn't abandon someone because they are lost. So, when a leader is sworn in, or a government takes office, don't send valuable gifts and fancy cars. Be still and offer Tao. The ancients who valued Tao so highly said, with Tao there can be no mistakes. To know Tao is the most wonderful thing in the world. 63. Strive not to struggle. Achieve by just being. Savour the flavourless. Value the unimportant. Meet unkindness with compassion. Tackle difficult jobs while they are still easy, and big jobs while they are small. The troubles of the world can only be solved before they get out of hand. The great affairs of the world can only be sorted out by paying attention to all the small things. 
The wise don't attempt anything great and so achieve great things. Someone who promises the world will never live up to their promise. Someone who thinks everything is easy will inevitably find things hard. The wise don't avoid difficulties, so nothing remains difficult. Sixty-four. When at peace, remember danger. When things are easy, don't get complacent. Brittle things are easily shattered. Small things are easily lost. Set things right before they go wrong. Get things sorted before they get confused. A mighty tree grows from a tiny shoot. A tower block, nine stories high, starts as a heap of earth. A thousand mile journey begins with one step. Struggle and you'll ruin it. Grasp and you'll lose it. The wise don't struggle, so nothing gets spoilt. The wise don't grasp, so they lose nothing. People usually mess things up just as they are about to succeed. Be as careful at the completion as you were at the start. Advance and retreat, hard and easy, strength and weakness, victim and victor. The wise remain equanimous in the midst of extremes and excesses. They desire to be without desires. They don't go after precious things just because they're hard to get. They study what others ignore. They bring people's attention to what has been overlooked. They help everything find its true nature and would not presume to do any more than this. Sixty-five. The ancients who knew Tao didn't try to explain it to everyone else. They let people be simple. People who are filled with ideas are difficult to lead well. Leaders who rely on ideas confuse the country. Leaders who avoid ideas are a blessing to the country. Understand the difference between these two ways and choose to be an example of natural goodness. Natural goodness is so deep and far-reaching, it leads everything back to an awareness of the whole. 66. Streams and rivers flow to the sea because it lies below them. That's why it is the greatest body of water. Following this example, if the wise want to guide, they are humble. If they want to lead, they work from behind. In this way, people don't feel pushed about. The wise lead without obstructing. Everyone helps them without resentment. Because they won't compete, no one can compete with them. 67. People say that my talk of Tao is all well and good, but it doesn't relate to anything. But this is precisely what makes it so important. Tao doesn't relate to anything because Tao is everything. I have three qualities that I treasure and hold close. Love, simplicity and daring not to put myself before others. From love comes courage. From simplicity comes generosity. From daring not to be first 
comes leadership. People today want to be courageous, but not because of love. They want to be generous, but not through simplicity. They want to lead, but not with humility. This is hopeless. In conflict, it is love that wins. Love is the strongest protection. If you have love, it is as if heaven itself were keeping you safe. Sixty-eight. A good guide doesn't insist. A good employer doesn't push people around. A good competitor isn't angry. And if they win, they aren't vindictive. Natural goodness doesn't struggle. It brings out the best in people. In ancient times, this was called heaven's way. Sixty-nine. There is a saying concerning strategy. Don't invite a fight, but face it if you have to. Better to retreat a foot than advance an inch. This is making your move while staying still. Rolling up your sleeves, but not clenching your fists. Having an adversary, but not an enemy. Being armed, but not with weapons. It is a big mistake not to respect an adversary. If I did that, I'd have already lost what I value most. Only the compassionate truly win. 70. It is easy to understand what I'm saying but it seems like nobody does. It is easy to live by my teachings, but it seems like nobody wants to. What I say and do is nothing new. Understand that, or you'll never understand me. Although I am so rarely understood, it doesn't diminish the value of what I have. The wise may look poor on the outside, because they keep their riches in their hearts. 71. It is healthy to know you know nothing. Pretending to know is a kind of sickness. Realising you are ill is the beginning of healing. The wise are sick of sickness, and so they are well. 72. When people lack a sense of awe, something awful happens. Don't intrude on people's private life or get in the way of them making a living. Don't push them around and they won't end up resenting you. Wisdom is knowing yourself but not having to make a show of it. Having self-respect and not needing to seek approval. Choosing what is within, not what is without. 73. Daring to do and die is to be courageous in the outer world. Daring to be and live is to act courageously in the inner world. Both can help, both can harm. Why? Even the wise have to admit they haven't got a clue. Follow the way of heaven and you will succeed without struggling. You will know the answer without asking the question. All you need will come to you without being demanded. You will be fulfilled without knowing desire. The way of heaven 
is like a vast net. Although its mesh seems wide, it catches everything. Seventy four. If people aren't afraid of death, it's no good threatening to kill them. But if people are frightened of dying, then the death penalty might stop them breaking the law. But there is already a supreme executioner in charge of doing the killing. If you put yourself in his place, you are wielding the axe of a skilled woodsman and will end up injuring yourself. 75. Why are people hungry? Because the rich take too much from them. This is why they don't have enough. Why are people rebellious? Because the powerful push them around. This is why they're angry. Why do people risk death? Because their leaders are sucking the life out of them. They have so little to lose. But even those with a little still have life. 76. When you were born, you were soft and supple. When you die, you will be hard and stiff. Green shoots are fresh and full of vitality. Dead plants are withered and dry. Hard and stiff go with death. Soft and supple go with life. An inflexible army never wins a war. A rigid tree is ready for the axe. The hard and stiff falls and the soft and supple rises. 77. Following the way of heaven is like being an archer. Aim, not too high, not too low. Stress the string, not too little, not too much. It is heaven's way to take from that which has too much and give to that which has too little. This is not the way people do things. They take from those with too little and give to those who already have too much. Who has so much he can offer it to everyone? Only the person who knows Tao. So, the wise do their work without seeking recognition. They don't want the credit for their achievements. They don't need to be important. 78. Nothing wears away hard, strong rocks as well as soft, weak water. From this, anyone can see that softness is harder than hardness and weakness is stronger than strength, but no one lives accordingly. This is why the ancients said, Embrace being a nobody and you are fit to be somebody. Embrace the problems of ordinary life and you will master the whole cosmos. The truth is paradoxical. 79. After an attempt at reconciliation, if bitterness still remains, what then? Meet bitterness with kindness. The wise act well, without demanding others do. Someone who ignores natural goodness is always concerned that they are properly honoured. Someone who knows natural goodness honours their side of a relationship regardless. Heaven's way is never to favour this person over that person, but always to be on the side of the good. 
80. Imagine a small country with few people. It has powerful machines, but no use for them. The inhabitants respect death and don't take unnecessary risks. There are ships and cars, but no one travels in them. There are tanks and guns, but they are never paraded. They turn their backs on sophistication and return to the simple ways. Their food is wholesome. Their clothes are simple. Their homes are comfortable. Their customs are delightful. And although the neighbouring country is so near that they can hear each other's cocks crowing and dogs barking, they leave each other in peace to grow old and die. Eighty one. The truth may not sound convincing. An eloquent speech may not be true. Good people don't use the power of persuasion. Those that argue aren't good. You can be wise without being clever. You can be clever without ever being wise. The wise aren't full of themselves. The more they do for others, the more they feel fulfilled. The more they give to others, the more they feel they have. Heaven's way is to help without harming. So, the wise act from their deepest being and without striving bring everything to fulfilment. 's Dao De Ching A new version by Tim Freak Read by Julian Brown